The data table to the right represents the volumes of generic soda brand. We want to complete parts A and B below. So the question is asking us which plot represents a dot plot of the data. So if you shoot, look over here to the right, we're going to go ahead and click on Open into Stack Crunch. So we're going to open up this into Stack Crunch. And then what we're going to do is we're going to say, it says volumes of soda. So I'm going to come up here and I'm going to change the column title to be volumes of soda. And then I'm going to write ounces. Okay, so again, you want to get in the habit of being able to then, you know, edit certain things when you come in here. And now what we're going to do is you want to create a dot plot. So we're going to select graph and then we're going to scroll all the way down to where it says dot plot. Okay, so we're going to select the volume of soda and ounces. And so we have group by, we have um, point size, it says allow points to overlap. Um, and then here what we're going to do is we're just going to call this the title. And the title is volume of soda and ounces. And then let's select compute. And so now we can see what the dot plot looks like. Okay. So here we can see that we have the following values. Okay. We have a dot at 50. So we're going to not, we can't include A because it doesn't have a dot at 50. Now, if we take a look at C, we do have one. So it could be C. So we can, we can now uh, rule out A. And if you look at B, you can see that there's not a dot there at 50 either. So now it's going to be in between the following choices. It's going to be either C or D. So now we need to take a look here. So here at 50, we have one dot. Okay. And then at 65, we have two dots. And over here, we have three. And there we have two. And then here we have one, two, three, four. And there's one, two, three, four. So it looks like our answer is going to be C. Now the next question says, are there any outliers? Well, how do I determine if there are any outliers? So I'm going to just open up this screen and say, okay, well, are there any outliers in this particular case? Okay. So now it says here, yes, the volume of 70 ounces appears to be an outlier. So is 70 ounces an outlier? Well, that's not true because 70 is not an outlier. And let me just use the, uh, the stack crunch data here. So 70 is not an outlier. Okay. Then it says, yes, the volumes of zero to 200 appear to be outliers. Well, that's not true. Okay. It says, no, there do not appear to be any outliers. Or do we say, yes, the volume of 50 ounce appears to be an outlier because it is far away from the other volumes. So when you look at 50, it is farther away from all of our dots here. So we would say that yes, the volume of 50 ounce appears to be an outlier because it is far away from the other volumes. So we would select D and there is our answer.